This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Thursday, August 2nd, 2021. The title of this rant is, uh, Will the Democrats Stop the Corporate Welfare Two-Step uh, in the Reconciliation Bill? So the corporate welfare two-step is all the lobbyists basically saying, acting like politicians, oh, we want all of this good stuff to come out of the reconciliation bill. Uh, we just want to make sure th that it's done correctly, et cetera. But basically, they want to continue to screw uh, the American people. And will the Democrats cave on that? It reminds me of uh, the, the saying, when the rubber meets the road, uh, which uh, Firestone had an ad in the mid-60s that said, uh, had a little song, a little tune, uh, wherever wheels are rolling, no matter what the load, the name that's known is Firestone, where the rubber meets the road. So where the rubber meet the road uh, with the Democrats on this reconciliation bill, because basically with the Chamber of Commerce and a whole lot of other business business friendly groups, all of the major industries, and let's just name four or five of them, big pharma, big oil, uh, big banks, uh, big tech, um, whatever. They are doing everything they possibly can behind the scenes to protect as much as they possibly can their profits while in the meantime screwing you. Because remember, uh, the lobbyists' sole purpose in life is to enact legislation to screw you and to screw me and to increase their pop profits. And many of them uh, are ex-politicians. And I just want to say, you know, this is a formidable oppo opponent's. Uh, these people are well educated. Uh, they are, uh, they paid their dues in their industries by either being in their industries or being in the political scene. They know how to write legislation. Uh, they are mostly white and male. They want to make a lot of money and they're willing to screw you and me out of it. Uh, and they know how to write legislation and they know how to put the squeeze on politicians to get what they want. Uh, and of course, I'd like to, there's a hundred examples from every single area, but the biggest one I would say is the uh, Medicare, Medicaid uh, one, where um, I think it's Medicare, cannot negotiate drug pricing with the drug corporations. Now, that's funny because the, uh, the, the Veterans Administration can do that, but Medicare can't do that. So what's happening? We're paying exorbitant prices uh, that's coming out of our pocket uh, uh, because so that the corp, so that big pharma can stay rich all over the place. And as I said, that is with every other industry out there. They all have something, uh, written into the law that protects them. And they, those laws go back a hundred years or more, and they're willing to fight to protect every single one of them. And the question is, will the Democrats cave on this? Because remember, that Bernie Sanders says, hey, this should be a $6 trillion bill. We already cut it back to 3.5. They're going to cut it a lot, lot more. Um, now, there's an ex-congressman that basically said about a week or so ago that he uh, voted for Obamacare, was glad he voted for Obamacare, and lost his next election because of Obamacare, and said he would do it again because of the benefits of Obamacare that have come through. And remember, Republicans have tried incessantly uh, to get rid of Obamacare. And this is the type of courage that we need from every single Democrat, because the corporations are willing, are basically willing to, ha to sabotage the health and welfare of the average working American for their profits, and it has to stop. And I certainly hope that the Democrats step up and stop this.